Do you want to be like Jesus, to experience the power he had, the life he lived? If so, listen to this devotional, written by Ellen G. White. To be like Jesus, many lessons are to be learned from nature. August 17th. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. He also established them forever and ever. He has made a decree which shall not pass away. Psalm 148 verse 5 and 6. How beautiful the psalmist's description of God's care for the creatures of the woods. The high hills are a refuge for the wild gods and the rocks for the cornies. Psalm 104 verse 18. He sends the springs to run among the hills where the birds have their habitation and sing among the branches. Verse 12. All the creatures of the woods and hills are part of his great household. He opens his hand and satisfies the desire of every living thing. The eagle of the Alps is sometimes beaten down by the tempest into the narrow defiles of the mountains. Storm clouds shut in this mighty bird of the forest. There are dark masses separating her from the sunny heights where she has made her home. Her efforts to escape seem fruitless. She dashes to and fro, beating the air with her strong wings and walking the mountain echoes with her cries. At length, with a note of triumph, she darts upward and piercing the clouds is once more in the clear sunlight with the darkness and tempest far beneath. So we may be surrounded with difficulties, discouragement and darkness. Falsehood, calamity, injustice shut us in. These are clouds that we cannot dispel. We battle with circumstances in vain. There is one, and but one way of escape. The mists and fogs cling to the earth. Beyond the clouds, God's light is shining. Into the sunlight of his presence we may rise on with the wings of faith. Many are the lessons that we may thus be learned. Self-reliance. The tree that, growing alone on plain or mountainside, strikes down its root deep into the earth, and in its rugged strength defiles the tempest. The power of early influence from the gnarled, sharpless trunk, bent as a sapling, to which no earthly power can afterward restore its lost symmetry. The secret of a holy life from the water lily that on the bosom of some slimy pool surrounded by weeds and rubbish strikes down its channeled stem to the pure sands beneath and drawing thence its life lifts up its fragrant blossoms to the light and spotless purity. Education page 118 and 119. The Word of God. Subscribe to the Evangel Living Podcast today.